Johnny! Johnny! Yeah! Yeah! East QTV. I'm here with Mia. Hey guys, it's Mia here. And it's Aisha here. Like we're always on camera, but it's fine. Yeah. We are getting ready for our first game of the season on Sunday. Yes. Yes, we are, guys, and we're going to win. We're going to win. Yeah. Yeah. And if I don't make six goals, then I owe everyone 10 bucks each. Here we are, round four of the season, East Q versus Old St. Kevin's, and I'm here with Mark, number one EKFC supporter. Excited for today? Very excited for today, Jaden. We're here at the home of the worst chips in the eastern suburban south capital of Melbourne. Um, however, the snags were good, so I have to give props where props are due. Um, if you look behind me here, you'll notice Skevs have been nice enough to put the East Q colours up on their goals. Interesting choice, given, you know, they wear blue and green, which is an interesting colour choice as well. But here we are, big day. We've got James Norman, probably featuring for one of the first times, talking to star player, Mickey. It's going to be a big day. Get excited. guys, half time. I guess the big question for both of you, both in terms of the game and the off-field chat is, what are we expecting in the second half? Let's go a bit of the off-field chat, that's more important. Uh, more crook chat? Um, I don't know. I can see the chat getting a bit more grimmer, grimmer? a bit more looser as the tinnies start to topple down. Credit to Asahi. Anyway, Johnny, in terms of the game, what do you think? Get me on, Ahmed. You heard it here first. I 100% agree. Get Johnny Asbestos on. Give it to him. Everyone with this, their energy, their attitude, the people just stepped up and that's what 
football is about. That's an HQ win, fucking An amazing 3-1 win and a first goal for yourself, Julian. How was it? Yeah, no, um, boys started off well. We scored first, what, first 10 minutes. Um, so it was good to get 1-0 up early in the first half for once. Mr. Kutsafar. Full yeah. faith in this gentleman. I've known him for quite a while. And I had faith and I told him he's going to score today. And what happens? He yeah. scores. Thank you. Cheers. Exactly. <laughs> Cheers, Chris. That was kind of cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Marky? Yo. Anything? Uh, great win for them, guys. Uh, I think we'd really like to thank the administration for buying beers. It's probably the best thing you guys have done. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, roaming Mark. Before we chat to some people, I'm just going to show you where we can't go off limits. For Mark's eyes only. All right, we're going to have a chat to Isaac. Isaac, massive shift from you today. Uh, when we went down to Town Men, you had to go into fullback. How'd yep. you find it? Felt a bit shaky in fullback, but had um, a good. Back line to back me up, thank God. But um, yeah, we, we really put the pressure on them with 10 men and scored a few goals and made it work. So you started out front today, you're a winger, you're a striker. Do you think as you get fatter and older, like me, you'll slip a bit further back and we'll find you in fullback in about 10 years' time? Mate, I might end up in goalkeeper if I keep going out with you on a Saturday night, so uh, it takes me. Anyway, if anyone wants to come out, hit up Isaac, he'll let me know and we'll find <laughs> some somewhere to go. Done, mate. Cheers. Love it. Let's find someone else. You know who we need to have a chat to? Darcy O'Connor. O'Connor, so I don't want to bring your confidence down after the win, but there's some boys on the side saying, Darcy's washed, he's passed it. You put three misplaced pass in a row, and then you pulled the guy down just outside the box. That was a great tackle. We'll get that footage cut in. Um, and then you came back. What sort of mental fortitude, what sort of growth mindset did you put in place to really bring yourself around? Yeah, just huge credit to Ahmed, honestly. Uh, he's been really working on the mental side of the game, um, really telling us we need to, it's a mental game. We need to... Um... It, it, no, like, I agree with him. It is a mental game. Like, you really just have to want it on a Saturday. Like, technically, you, we know you're good enough. Well, I mean, maybe. But it's about wanting it. And you showed up today, you pulled your head around. Um, bench next week, what do you think? Another three points, mate. That's what I think. Three points for Q. Up on top, David Kazubo. Oh, really Cuz, I've got, I got three quick questions for you. What's your favourite colour? Blue. What's another primary colour? Red. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. How do you feel about today? Not very good. Um, you're, we're going to change your nickname in the group chat to Luca Di Donato. How do you feel about that? That's fine. I deserve it. <laughs> anyway, Cuz, I think you're a bit stiff today. The boys got a good result. You had yeah. a good shift. Boys I love your work. Awesome. Boys were awesome. Fucking dug deep. Very well done. Come the crows. Up the cube. So we've uh, just got some of the juniors down and we're formally handing out their kits for the 2024 season. It's a jam-packed evening for us here, but it's amazing to see the smiles on their faces when they receive their kit. Um, but yeah, big night for us. Firstly, um, I'm very proud of all of you in your development over the last two to three weeks. Um, Mark's done a great job with Jimmy prior to that, obviously, building up to this, but watching you out there tonight at training, if you do that last um, segment of how you played in the game on the weekend, I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful game and enjoy it as well. So congratulations for performing on the training field. My wish is you take it to the game on Sunday, all right? So I will start off with the vice captains, plural. It gives me great pleasure to announce not one, not two, obviously, but three vice-captains. So, in no particular order, vice-captain, congratulations, Mia. <laughs> Tara. Yeah. Pega. Yeah. To the crescendo, the finale, the drop the mic scenario. Congratulations, the inaugural captain of 2024 for the women's senior team. Guess who? Chelsea!
All right, as a leader, as a leader, you are the spokesperson. So you will come up and now speak to your team for the first time. I'm humbled to be your captain this year. Just like to say, we're all equal in this team, no matter what label we have. And I just want everyone to know that everyone's accepted in this team and you guys can come to all of us for any support or anything like that. So I'm gonna pass it off. But thanks guys, I appreciate that. We're here in the first ever senior women's game. Mm -hmm. uh, you come here on a Sunday, about what, almost one o'clock, one o'clock kickoff here. Are you excited for the game? Pretty excited. Um, I am more excited for finding something on Uber Eats, however. Um, the chips here are better than they were yesterday, but um, yeah, just not quite satisfied yet. I'm a bit hungover, so. Yeah, excited for the day. What about you? Yeah, no, it's keen to see them out there. They're wearing our, um, they're wearing the blue away kit today. So it's good to see him out there all kitted up. So, yeah, hopefully we get the win. Three points, start off the year strong. Can the girls. I'm here with Liv, one of the senior women's players. Just finished up round one, 10 0 win and your first goal. How was it? Feels good. I think we're in the middle of our redemption arc, so we're ready to take the win. Tell us a bit about that. Was it half volley that you scored? Look, I kind of blacked out a little. I think I just saw the ball, took the opportunity, and boom, straight in. First of all, most of that was flukes, but all those 10 goals did not come from me. It came from everyone at the front. So honestly, I think it was a team effort and I'm so proud of everyone. And I don't think all I did was just kick it to them and they did the rest of the work. So look, you played amazing and had a clean sheet. So I definitely have to get some credit there. All right, well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. But yeah, I'm just really proud of how everyone 
play today. Um, I was sweating a bit. My heart was beating really fast, especially when, you know, they're running and there's five defenders on them. I was like, fuck, I'm freaking out. But, like, I'm just really happy um, with the way that we performed today, especially for our first game. So. Amazing. All right, guys, we're here. We're going to play a new halftime game. It's called Marry Kill. So 